Do you ever get the impression that some beats are definitely made as a throwaway but then end up getting used? Because that's what I feel like this beat is. Uh, it's Introversion 2.0 uh, by the Suicide Boys. I know it's a really uh, quite, it's one of their better known songs because I've had a bunch of people request me to make this one. But I just wasn't, I wasn't in love with this one. Um, it is really simple. And I guess I can't complain because it only took like five minutes to make this. Um, so let's take a listen to it and then I'll walk you through the project. Yep. Nice sample, though. Yep, I just tamed some of the transients. Yeah, we're removing that from the sample. And then I cut the lows a bit and compressed it with a little bit of EQ in the middle. Look at this lovely EQ band. <clears throat> oh, and it's been sped up as well. That's how it's meant to be. Really slow. Drums. Yeah, very punchy, but kind of hollow sounding drums I think in this one yep very small amount of soft clipping just to catch it um, just to catch it at the peaks and then we end it off well I'll show you the I'll show you the drum pattern actually yeah got some gunshots at the end for some reason Must have just got that from YouTube. Yeah. We'll finish it off with some bass. This is going to be a very short video, I think. There's not much to say about this one. But as usual, I'm using my trusty Sublab preset, which I made. It's just a super thick sine wave. Uh, our mastering chain consists of the glue compressor, which is an overpriced compressor. <laughs> I don't. I think I must have bought it on sale or something. Uh, RC20 using, yeah, I always use this preset that I made. I call it subtlety because it just does that. Yeah, just gives it a bit of character. You know, actually, the more I listen to it, I, I am actually starting to like it a bit more. Uh, yeah, and we ended it off with some limiting. Uh, yeah, I hope you learned something from that. I hope that uh, maybe answered some questions you had. Maybe you were wondering what the project looked like. There you go. Don't know what the actual project looks like, but... I can't imagine it's much more complicated than this. Uh, so thanks for watching and see you in the next one.